Kevin O'Leary, also known as Mr. Wonderful, is a venture capitalist, entrepreneur, and politician. He is best known for being investor on Shark Tank, the Emmy-winning business reality show on ABC. Entrepreneurs pitch their businesses to a panel of five investors, or sharks, who decide whether or not to invest. On the show, he is frequently direct and abrasive with entrepreneurs seeking investment who enter the Shark Tank. Fans of the show are frequently divided regarding O'Leary due to his direct manner. Whether one likes him or not, it is evident that O'Leary understands business and finance. If you've ever wondered how Mr. Wonderful was able to amass a fortune of more than $400 million, watch this video till the end. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for insightful documentaries on your favorite entrepreneurs and thought leaders. O'Leary's Early Days Kevin O'Leary was born in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, on July 9, 1954. Georgette, O'Leary's mother, was a small business owner and investor of Lebanese descent, while Terry, O'Leary's father, was a salesman of Irish descent. O'Leary may have inherited his passion for investing from his father. Georgette was accustomed to investing one-third of her weekly income in dividend paying stocks and bonds. This closely resembled the current strategy of Kevin O'Leary, who has famously stated that he does not invest in public companies that do not pay a dividend. After earning a bachelor's degree in environmental studies and psychology in 1977 from the University of Waterloo, O'Leary went on to earn an MBA in entrepreneurship from the Ivy Business School of the University of Western Ontario in 1980. How Kevin O'Leary Became Wealthy Many Shark Tank viewers are unaware that O'Leary began his career as a filmmaker in college. Special event television set an independent production company, was his first enterprise, SET. He co-founded the company with two MBA classmates. Minor television programs, sports programming, and commercials were produced by the company. O'Leary sold his shares in SET to one of his business partners for $25,000. O'Leary had the time to focus on this next business, which would prove to be his opportunity to amass a fortune now that his time as a producer was behind him. With an investment of $10,000 from his mother, O'Leary founded SoftK Software Products. SoftK specialized in CD-ROM software distribution. In the 1990s, the company acquired the majority of its competitors, including the learning company TLC for $606 million. After acquiring TLC, SoftK adopted the latter's name, after 1999, O'Leary amassed the majority of his wealth. In 1999, he sold TLC for $4.2 billion to Mattel. Soon thereafter, he became a co-investor in Storage and No Holdings, a Canadian storage company. Mr. Wonderful was able to pocket $4.5 million from the $110 million sale of Soto Rage and No Holdings. Shark Tank Achievements, Excellent Cupcakes, one of the most profitable investments made by O'Leary on Shark Tank. Boston-based Wicked Good Cupcakes Pastry Company. Tracy Noonan and Danielle Vilagi were able to secure a $75,000 royalty deal with O'Leary as a mother-daughter duo. The agreement stipulated that O'Leary would receive $1 for each unit sold until his initial investment was returned. His royalty would then decrease to 50 cents per unit. It only took him 75 days to receive his refund. Prior to entering into a partnership with O'Leary, Wicked Good Cupcakes was generating approximately $350,000 in sales. These figures quickly surpassed $8 million annually. Although Mr. Wonderful did not gain any equity from the transaction, he has often referred to it as one of the best he has ever made. Groovebook During season five of Shark Tank, Brian and Julie Whiteman pitched their business, Groovebook, to the investors. Groovebook is an app and service that enables the printing of photo books from a mobile device, followed by monthly delivery. The couple was able to reach a $150,000 licensing agreement with Mark Cuban and Kevin O'Leary for 80% of their invention. Following its appearance on the program, 
GrooveBooks paid subscriptions increased from 8,000 to 500,000. In 2014, Shutterfly acquired the business for $14.5 million. Bottle Breacher Additionally, O'Leary invested in the entrepreneurial couple Eli and Jen Crane. Their business is known as Bottle Breacher. Bottle Breacher manufactures one-of-a-kind 50-caliber bottle openers from repurposed bullets. The investment would cost the cranes 20% of their business. But it appears to have been worthwhile as they received over 20,000 orders and earned $2.5 million within three months. Additional Income Sources Kevin O'Leary frequently brags that he is the only professional venture capitalist on the show, despite the fact that all of the Sharks are investors. He founded the private early-stage venture capital investment firm O'Leary Ventures. Additionally, he owns O'Leary Fine Wines. The company markets itself as an affordable premium wine brand. O'Leary launched an ETF BioShares Investments in 2015. Quality-focused DTFs for long-term wealth management are offered by O'Shares Investments. The O'Shares ETFs are designed for investors with a variety of objectives, including wealth preservation, income generation, and capital appreciation. The ETF is a division of the investment fund where O'Leary serves as chairman, O'Leary Funds Management LP. O'Leary has also invested in gold, allocating 5% of his portfolio to physical gold. He has also been an outspoken advocate for cryptocurrency investment. O'Leary's cryptocurrency holdings include Ether, Polygon, Sol, and Bitcoin. Is Kevin O'Leary a billionaire? Kevin O'Leary, unlike Mark Cuban, is not a billionaire. Through his funds, he manages billions of dollars in assets. And he created and sold a billion-dollar company to Mattel. With a net worth of $400 million, he is the second wealthiest shark, after Cuban. He is also the second wealthiest dragon on the Canadian version of the show, second only to Jim Living, the Boston pizza franchise expert. It is important to note that O'Leary is not a billionaire because he frequently makes this distinction on television. When competing with offers from other sharks, he enjoys highlighting the fact that he is the only one, as long as Cuban is not on the show to have sold his company for a billion dollars. He neglects to mention that he is still a millionaire. Maybe O'Leary could benefit from a bottle of Trascoma's tequila.